So let's tell, talk about your movement, man, and, and some other things that you have going on. I saw, saw you have an a, a internet, internet radio station right now, right? I do. It's called The Sine Wave, and uh, most people from Columbia have already sent me their music. Okay. Um, I was actually at the I'm From Columbia mixtape release party. I mean, I remember really talking about it. I was kind of just filling, the, filling out. A the word. Room. Yeah, I was it. Okay, so I ain't seen you, man. Yeah, I, was, I, had, I had the shades on and everything. Okay. I was in there chilling. I probably was... looked right at you then and recognized <laughs> you, man. Yeah, uh, Juice, she was doing her thing. All Austin, right. uh, dapped up um, DJ Beck Records, and that's my man. I, I knew him when he was still rapping. Okay. You feel me? Uh, did some work with him when he was still rapping, but some film stuff. Um, yeah, Cody got up. Doing her promoter thing, mm -hmm. talking about yeah, this little white lady, she might be somebody. I'm like, okay, okay. So I was just scoping out the scene, but yeah. I was I was there working with Metro Fisher. Okay. Yeah, you know I mean, so it was, yeah, so I, I was there. I'm always around. Okay. I'm always I'm always somewhere. You know, either I'm behind the camera, or I'm just sitting there chilling, peeping people. You know what I mean? So kind of like A and R. Right. Because yeah, with the whole record label and everything, I try to peep new talent and who got what and who's right. not and who's not and. If I could help somebody develop to be somebody greater, so okay, I wear many hats. Right. So kind of give us the run, the rundown, man. Of what's needed to get your music played? What's needed to get your music played is paperwork, man. You could have the hottest song, and it could be played on all the mixtapes, this, that, and the third. And again, you could be the hottest in your city, or it's gonna go after that. I've seen so many people do all these showcases. And if they don't win, they don't win. You know? And they go to the next showcase and try it again and try it again until they do win. But there's other ways around that. You feel me? So there's people like me. I got a record label. I want to help. I'm not going to bust anybody over the head because I'm in the artist too. I don't want nobody to bust me over the head. I'm trying to make it. So, pretty much, where are you going with your music? What are you trying to do with it? Who are you trying to reach? And that's what we help you with. So we get your music, make sure it's good, make sure it sounds, <laughs> make sure it sounds great. Mastered. <laughs> Mix, mastered, and all yeah. that. Then we get it distributed. Distributed, it goes everywhere. Like literally, ever. I got stuff in Russia somewhere. I, I didn't even know. I found that yesterday. It goes everywhere. We do the paperwork for it. Make sure you get paid for your royalties. You know? Just like a regular record label do. We just don't have the, you know, the nasty bank rolls that give you 500,000 advances. All right. But we give you an edge up on other artists because now you're official on paper. All right. So, I mean, so when, when they come to you, do they have their own budget? Or, I mean, how, how does it work? The main thing <coughs> is you do want to have your own budget because what we do is not for free. It doesn't have to be 5,000, 10,000. It could be 500, it could be 200. We could do something here and there. But as long as you show the effort that you're willing to get out there and make a difference, that's what we got for you. And you also have to promote your music too. If, you, if we get, distribute your song and it just sits there, nobody knows it's there. So what are you doing to push your own music? So you got social media, then you do have the showcases. CDs, are you passing out CDs? What are you doing for us to help you too? Because now I've got the radio show and I've got a venue. So it's a one stop shop. So we make you, distribute your music, we do your videos for you, do your pictures for you, and now we have a venue for you to perform in front of the crowd. On top of a radio show, for you to distribute your music elsewhere, you know, get your fans involved. And if you really, really, really work hard or you really want it, we get you on Pandora too. So we got everything the artist wants. This isn't do they want it. And that's the that's the main issue. They have a lot of talk, but All right. what do you really want to do, you know? Yeah, uh, you, you have to you have to put money into yourself. I mean it's it's not on any level, it's not hard. Like I said, it doesn't take a lot of money, but it you, doesn't. It, you know you can it's, you can make moves out there with two hundred dollars. 
you can spend two hundred dollars a month. You can even hundred dollars a month. You can you can make moves. So yeah. You be surprised what you can do with forty dollars. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? People spend that on liquor or weed. You feel me? Like, exactly. So, like I know they got it. Yeah. It's just what are you willing to redirect your funds to to invest in yourself? All right. So it's kind of like just changing your mindset a little bit. All right. So. So how many companies do you uh you distribute to? Music-wise? Yeah. Tidal, iTunes, Spotify, Napster, uh, Google Play, Amazon Music, Yandex, eMusic, um, God, name something. So, I mean, you, but you have a lot, pretty, pretty large database then. 50, well, probably 80 or more. Eighty no, more, okay. All, more. All, so you say you have some overseas also, right? Oh yeah. Okay. Okay. Because um, this Amazon is universal. Right. So they just have different platforms, but there are actual music websites. Right. Like Yandex, that's a that's a Russian. There, I found some stuff on the Japanese website yesterday. I was searching. So there's there's things everywhere, and then we got promotion teams. So we we are here to help you. You know what I mean? So, so kind of tell us like how how hard was it to build a record label? Because most people they just do might just do management, but what like tell us kind of give us a, a difference between manage, management and, and and starting a record label. It's I would say it's one and the same, but it's a step further because just like you being a music artist, you have to promote the record label too. You have to go out and network. You have to be the A and R. You have to be the businessman. You have to be promoter so it's all that on top of now you have artists so you have to manage artists you have to make sure they're doing what they're doing are they making the songs they're supposed to make are they networking with the people they're supposed to network when are you doing your video you know so it's it's hard it's like it's it is a full-time job you know outside of my job I am doing this too so I don't really sleep whether I'm being the artist, the record label guy, or the film guy. I've got like a week and a half of film, I gotta go back and edit it after I leave here, so. Wow. <laughs> yeah, you got a lot of work. It, it, it's, it's a constant thing, yeah. you know. I'm not alone in the record label though, I got I got two other partners, but still it's okay. a constant thing. If I'm not doing something, they're doing something. Right. If they're doing something, I'm doing something. Right. We're both doing something, we bring it together, talk about it, and keep pushing it, so. Okay, and who's your partners? My partner is Richmond Barfield and Joe Curry. Okay. So they've been in the game for about 15 plus years. Okay. And, um, you know, they taught me the music industry side. Okay. So I'm, I've always been a businessman, but my thing was the, you know, graphics, film, photography. So that was my contr contribution. Right. And so I just happened to sing and started, you know, being an artist too. Okay. So everything mixed up together is nothing but greatness coming through us. So we just want to help though. So what what do you see yourself within five years? Five years? I already got a studio so five years I hope to have a really large building and have small infrastructures in other in other cities so they don't have to just come to Augusta. They could be in Columbia, they could be in Atlanta, they could be in Cali. You know what I mean? So I'm working on making a, a real network because Columbia got a great infrastructure for me just watching that. You think so? Oh, they got it. That, that is the best report I have seen. The way the promoters talk about the artists, the way the artists talk about the promoters, the way the artists talk about you. The DJs, they all together. And you don't really see that here well, in my city. So that's, a, that's Columbia. I think everybody's going to make it big here, honestly, the way y'all work. 